Hey y'all, it's me. I am not driving, I am sitting. Okay, I got a, a message from a, a friend of mine and she had been in a relationship for a couple months. A uh, couple months. And then he was presented with an opportunity to go back to his ex, in which he did. After telling my friend he had developed feelings for her, he was over his ex, he said all the right words, but his actions clearly spoke otherwise. And she asked, why do men do that? Most of them operate under the, 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 pff, I'm fine. I'm over her. Okay, no, you're not. When you're in a relationship with someone and you love them and that relationship ends, it takes time. It takes true self-evaluation. It takes, you have to take responsibility for your part in the failure of that relationship. And it, it takes time to get over it. Some other operate under the impression of to get over one woman, you have to get under another one. Until you run into a woman like a friend of mine. She is clearly, she didn't just roll over. She made him work for it. Does she have self-respect? She has, you know, she, she knows her self-worth. So, the only thing we could possibly think is that he was operating as a fuckboy pretending to be a real man. If someone can get over someone that they loved that quickly, that, I question your motives. Actually, I don't. You, dude, were clearly a fuckboy who fucked with someone who was ready for a relationship and someone who was capable of being emotionally invested. After, you know, four or five, however, six, seven months, he became emotionally invested with my friend and and then just dropped her like a fucking hot potato. That clearly says fuck boy who caught feelings. Guys, listen, if you get out of one relationship and you find yourself, you know, going towards another one with another woman, when you meet another woman, be honest with her. Let her know. I just got out of a relationship. I'm not not really ready for another one. I just I want to make friends. I want to I want to get to know people. Fucking be honest. Why is, what is so wrong with honest? I have numerous questions, you know, not, not why men just do that, but why do men assume that sex is the only conversation women want to have? And why do they assume that money is our only motivation or that we're always out to get free shit? That is so not fucking true. Oh, and the other question I have is when men may be ready for a relationship, but they don't have time for one, why the fuck do they pursue it? If you don't have time and you are not emotionally ready and you don't want a relationship, don't get in one. It is that simple. If you're a fuck boy, own it. Admit it. Some women will do it anyway. I, I, I swear to God, it is so frustrating to see my friends get into these relationships that they're investing themselves in and no one sees it coming and just bam, he drops her like a hot fucking potato to go back, usually to go back to the ex in which he, he clearly probably, if he's like most, sat there and bashed her and what a psycho bitch she was and he was done and he deserved better and that's why he's with you and, and he has feelings for you and he could fall in love with you and then, oh, I'm going to go back to her. I'm not over her. What the fuck is that? Guys, be honest. I, uh, you wonder why we're psycho bitches. <laughs> this is why. So guys, be honest. We actually enjoy honesty. It lets us know what the rules of the game are and whether or not we want to play it. That, that's, you know, that's really all I got for today. So don't hate me because I tell the truth because it's all I'm ever going to tell. If you're a fuck boy, be a fuck boy and own it. If you're a real man, well, real men wouldn't have done that. Mistakes are made, granted, and people make them all the time. How you handle that mistake, that, that's what says a lot about your integrity. All right, I'm going to go. Don't me because I tell the truth. It's all I'm ever going to tell. Bye-bye.